Are you all right? I am Vernon Roach of Temeria. This is Witcher Geralt. She's terrified. If Deathmold touched her, I'll kill the son of a bitch all over again. What'll you do with the child, Vernon? I made an arrangement with Radovid, and Vernon Roach always keeps to his word. Kings only keep their promises when it suits them. We saw him together. You heard what he said. You didn't have Anais then. Now you do. Take a minute. Consider your options. I'm a soldier, not a diplomat. Well, you need to start thinking like a diplomat. You're about to decide Tamaria's future. Do you trust Radovid? I want to believe kings don't generally spout nonsense. Kings never say what they mean, only what they want you to hear. What else could you do? Nothing. I either break my pledge to Radovid or honor it. Suppose you break it. I'll make another enemy. Enemies are something you can handle, you said so yourself. The Temerian delegation is in Loch Muin. Maybe we should consider handing the child over to them. John Natalis. Good soldier, poor politician. Natalis may not be the most polished diplomat, but both your grandmothers tilled the same soil. Your grandfathers fought side by side. By taking the child to John Natalis, I'll spark a civil war. The barons won't acknowledge her right to the throne until they feel a boot on their neck. I don't claim giving her to the Temerians will solve all your problems. But freedom's precious, Vernon. One of those things you don't appreciate until it's gone. Considered what they'll say in Temeria when they hear Vernon Roach handed their crown princess to the head of a foreign state? If Radovid keeps to his word, they just might name a holiday after me. Careful, Vernon. It's a slippery slope. You could easily be branded a traitor, and brands are tough to scrub off. I guess you're right. Dishonored I'll be no one. Not in Temeria, not anywhere else. Natalis it is. Come, child. I'll take you to a safe place. Hmm. Looks like someone's provided an escort. In the name of King Radovid, we demand that you hand over the child of Louisa Lavalette. We're headed elsewhere. Not my concern. My orders are clear. We are not Radovid's subjects. His orders don't apply to us. If you won't come peacefully... Look around before you threaten us again, you fool. So, to the Temerian camp? We've lost a lot of time. The talks have probably begun. Come, child. Henselt will want to avenge his dead sorcerer. Henselt hates me anyway, for humiliating him when he was in my hands. I'm never short of enemies. I've learned to live with it. Temeria is internally divided. As Constable of Temeria, I'm in no position to speak for the whole country regarding the Council and the Conclave. I am honored to speak on Temeria's behalf before this esteemed body. But I'm only the Constable. I cannot be sure some Baron won't cancel my signature in a week. What's your point, Constable? I lack my country's support regarding the Council and the Conclave. Neither do I intend to seek the crown, for I've lesser blood in my veins. And as a soldier, I know my place in the ranks. Well said, John Natalis. Temeria, the realm separating the north from Emir Var Emrys, and most importantly from his armies, is divided and weak. Yet this land deserves law and order, which cannot be provided by the quarreling rabble spoilt by Foltest's generosity. Incessant wars between Temerian princelings are not in Kedwin's interest. Too many important trade routes run through the land. Redania will also take no comfort from unrest in Temeria. Therefore, we cannot leave the realm to its own devices. Temeria is an independent state, well able to resolve its own problems. You seek to tear Foltest's legacy to pieces, appropriate what was never meant to be yours. Calm down, John Natalis. We will speak of that in due course. Once we know with whom, as you said yourself, you cannot speak for all of Temeria. Before you begin skinning a bear that still breathes, King Radovid, King Henselt.
Behold, Anaïs La Valette. Royal blood courses through her veins. She is the rightful heir to the Temerian throne. This child is a bastard. The girl will go to Vizima, where she will be presented to the nobility. She is yet too young to rule, but our laws of succession make provision for such cases. Do you think the child will ever sit on the Temerian throne? The Talus won't let her be harmed. We did all we could. How is the future Queen of Temeria? She's safe. She's even started to speak. Old Natalis tried to give her a doll. Know what she said? How would I? That she wants no more toys. She wants a sword. And to learn how to fight. She wants to avenge her father's death. What did you do? Gave her my special forces dagger. I'll teach her to defend herself. Natalis will teach her the art of war. She'll be a good queen. I can feel it. What about Letho? Did you capture him? Not entirely. Meaning? Letho awaits you in the former Temerian camp. He sent a messenger. Let's go. Tell me what happened here on the way. Soldiers of the Unicorn swarmed over the Pontar Valley. As it had before, powerful Kedwen swallowed Upper Edern whole. Yet subsequent events would render Hensel's triumph short-lived. With Fultest slain, Temeria's barons began to vie for the throne. Many dreamt of donning the crown, yet none could assemble the allies required to snatch it. The kingdom's last hope, as it teetered at the edge of civil war, lay in little Anais. Natalis was named regent and ruled the land, yet the girl was the living symbol of the realm's salvaged unity.